Everybody, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. When last we left off, we are in Vault 19. It's filled to the brim with uh, former inmates. Make it vault suits. Answer is yes, I can get vault suits. Hula girls! Escaped convicts! from the Overseer. Reading residents, we regret to inform you that there is a problem with one of the water purification filters. We assure you that we are working diligently to fix this problem. However, until the filter has been fixed, please try to keep water usage limited and report directly to the clinic if you begin to feel ill in any way. I'm reading the bulletin boards for months now. I believe we have a spy among us. One of the reds pretending to be a blue. They are using the bulletin boards to communicate. I believe they want me to see it. Notice one of the lights flickering past the door in the red's hallway. I believe it to be Morse code. From what I can tell, it's an SOS. Always watching, always judging. so I stayed up reading and around 1.30 in the morning. The vent above my bed began to push out more air than usual. It lasted for about five minutes, then turned off. Nothing much of it at the time, but I had trouble falling asleep again last night, and once again, around 1.30 a.m., the vents turned on for about five minutes, then turned off. I'm getting headaches. I think someone is poisoning us. I've been up every night this week. Night after night, an extra boost of air comes through the vents. It lasts for about five minutes, and then turns off. I spoke with one of the neighbors, and he said he noticed the same thing in his room as well. We made a report. We made a report to the maintenance officer. He informed us that the system was running perfectly, and there was nothing to worry about. I don't believe him. Maybe he's in on it. Bloody hell. You better knock that shit off. Oh my. I don't trust that doctor. She has bodyguards. What kind of doctor has bodyguards? I've seen the guards bringing her meals. I don't think she ever leaves her office. There's always one posted outside at night, too. I wonder what she's hiding. We work with your friend. I'm trying to hack into the doc's computer, and so far we haven't had much luck. It wasn't convincing, but I finally got him to show me what he found on the doc's computer. He was right, I wouldn't like it. Patient files look like they were from an asylum. The patient names were all in code, but some... Some seemed to fit the people around us. 
can't be us. I don't remember being insane. I think I would remember something like that. But it must be true, it explains the doctor's behavior and the bodyguards. I don't know why I can't remember. It must be that doctor. Maybe she's drugging us. I need to get into that office. Maybe I am insane. Maybe this isn't happening. Maybe the war never happened, and maybe I'm just trapped in my head. It took some doing, but a few of us got together and managed to distract the people in the clinic long enough for me to get in and do some looking around. I found restraints and enough sedatives to kill a horse. She must be using them to control us, to make us forget. We're just pawns in her sick game. In front of the doctor today, she refused to give us any information, and we were literally thrown out of the clinic, and some of We were thrown out of the clinic, and some of us quite literally. We tried talking to the overseer, but acted as if he didn't know anything about it. I don't believe him. I don't trust him, and I don't trust any of them. Geckos. Running at me with that goofy, goofy ass walk. expression. to what? Speaking? It's not that difficult, man. Get in here! Okay, so what can we gather so far from what we've learned about this place? We've seen the idea is to stoke paranoia. Given the fact that they seem that some of them seem to be insane, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a difficult thing to accomplish. If they are in fact insane. One must consider the fact that, uh...
No names are mentioned in those reports, just numbers, and it could be anyone. stoke their paranoia further. It seemed to work so well on that one guy he couldn't be sure if he wasn't actually the one of the ones that the files were talking about. Stalkers and geckos, oh my. Night stalkers and geckos, oh my. Here we go. Stop. I demand that you stop going crazy, game. They keep telling me not to worry, but I feel like I feel it sometimes. I think there's something in here with us. I can always hear weird noises coming from above my room. Here we go. Here we go what? 
What are you talking about, Arcade? What people say you are a terrible villain. Marvel Comics. Oh, well, they tried to make you a bit more badass in that Avengers Arena thing, but. Pfft. What I say to that? for the job. How was I to know I needed C4? Sometimes I hear thoughts not my own. I think the Reds have done something to our intercom system. They did something out of broadcasting to our brains. What does it mean? Why is there a blue star on my under my bottle cap? It's behind this? Is, part of their, is this part of their mind control? It's making me see things now that should see things now. Things that shouldn't be there. The star shouldn't be there. Why do I see a star? It won't go away no matter how long I close my eyes, it won't go away. I want the star to go away. C4? Hey? Buddy? Where'd you go? Saw the Reds over here walking around on our floor last night. He looked like he was searching for something. He was mumbling to himself. 
and one of the guys in the mess hall pulled a bottle cap off a of sunset sarsaparilla and then ran into his room. I knew he was hiding something, so I broke into his room. And when he wasn't there, I saw the bottle cap. It had a blue star underneath. I think he's been marked for something, but I can't figure out what. All I know is I want that bottle cap. That one is an illusion. Eight. Multi tools. Why does he keep saying huh? anybody up. Eddie, calm down. Where are you going? Guys all lost their minds. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. I sure hope that explosion. Yep. Good to hear. Without access to the sulfur, Cook doesn't have much to offer the gang. Have you considered joining the Great Count? I hadn't thought of that. Sure.
meant no Papa Khan. be this Pelican. Actually, let's explore first. A farmstead over here, and I like to explore farmsteads. It doesn't look it looks like it's been burnt down. Oh no. Oh, just add themselves a delicious Oh, delicious Brahmin steak. Cut off from the rest of the platoon and there are legionnaires all over the place. There's no chance we can get out of here before they blow the town, so we're gonna hold out against them as long as we can. If anyone gets this, I'd like to make sure that Private Jeffrey Hugh and Corporal Marcus Christian are commended for their valor and sacrifice. Both have upheld the, the ideals and honor of the new California Republic with distinction. Ranger Tersa lets all out.
Shut up, Tom. Oh, 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 hey. Please stop staring at the robot. It's not gonna do anything. I trust it with my wife. So yeah, let's call it a video here, shall we? I'm the Blues32. This is Fallout New Vegas. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.